Congratulations on being accepted into the United Earth Colonial Fleet Command Small Craft Pilot Program. In the coming months, you'll learn what it takes to fly through atmospheric and space environments, and your performance will decide what vehicle you'll fly as a Colonial Officer. One thing that you will know to fly coming out of this program, regardless of what you end up in, is the Mark IV General Purpose Shuttle. GPS for short, designated as S in the registry, and referred to lovingly as the Honeycomb Flyer by pilots everywhere. It is the most common and important small craft in recent human history. This document will give you a quick introduction to its basic functions. The Mark IV is the most recent iteration of the classic shuttle airframe. Designed to fit into the same spaces as the ubiquitous zero-pressure shipping container and has a rear interface to connect to and drive standard container chains when the nacelles are in collapse mode. The latching hardpoints also maintain the container spec and the shuttle does have autopilot software that will allow for docking in a one unit container space if required. Ship propulsion is twofold. The retractable series IXX nacelles serve as zero pressure antimatter dark matter propulsion reactors for sublight in either position. And when extended, coupled with the magnetic field generators, provide a stable bubble for short range subspace FTL travel. They retract and expand for both field stability and heat dissipation. Do not attempt to use extended nacelles as landing aids, as the inner foils are not load-bearing. The Mark IV was not designed to be a fighter, but that doesn't mean it can be counted out of a fight entirely. The standard configuration does include two high-intensity VIM laser diode emitter banks that can be configured for pulse or beam fire. Pilots often describe using them in combat as bringing a pair of scissors to a knife fight. But these emitters, like scissors, have more general purpose uses than their lethal counterparts. The interior seats 10, including one pilot, co-pilot, navigator, and seven passenger seats. These are broken into two life support independent sections by a single bulkhead as well as an intercom system that allows for manual communication between the sections. The passenger section is designed with interchangeable interior components as needed for the mission, but generally it is in a passenger configuration. Lockers include emergency rations and survival supplies, as well as a basic toolkit for repairs. The center locker houses three lightweight environment suits that are rated for one hour of exposure to space for in-place repairs and emergency ejections. The command section houses the shuttle's crew with three distinct stations, pilot, co-pilot, and navigator. It is important to note that there is a compact control scheme that allows the pilot to fully control all aspects for the ship and can theoretically be flown by a single individual. But that is not the recommended mode of operation. That just about wraps it up for this introduction into the Mark IV GPS. In your upcoming training, you'll be well acquainted to this ubiquitous piece of hardware. And many of you might even find flying one becoming your position with the fleet. Either way, You'll be training on a platform that has existed since we've had the ability to travel faster than light, and, under the command of dedicated officers like you, has served us well since it went into service. Good luck and Godspeed.